So here, I'll let it you out. It's the Excalibur. Gently move the ailerons. Move the stick left and right, Kate. Gently move the stick left and right. Back and forth, just really quick. Nice and gentle. There you go. Keep going. There you go. Excellent. So cool. You excited? It's getting there. I'm going to try to put those uh, fiberglass pieces on the top. That's going next. decided to go with the uh, pipe insulation instead of the gaffer's tape because I bought this white gaffer's tape and um, I mean it looks nice and feels nice but it just doesn't have the stick to it so I guess I could have put down something on top of it but you know I've been going back and forth with this idea and I like this idea this is the pipe insulation um, it's this is the half inch diameter so get the half inch diameter with the little plastic strips that you remove and it's got the glue um, this this really stays on real nice and um, it's comfortable it's just comfortable and it kind of gives it a little bit of a, a look to it the only thing it might do is it might take away maybe a knot of airspeed you know just because you got that parasite drag on there um, but uh, but I'm and I'm not sure about the doors I guess if you get the doors door option you might have to remove it but not, again not a big deal right just just do what you need to do um, but I'm not gonna get doors for a little bit because it's just nice here in Georgia and there's not a lot of cold weather days. So I will um, stick with this option for now. You know, and I'm going back and forth on the painting, like painting the stripe. I just, um, I'm not sure really what I want to do at this point, so I'm still going to leave it an open option. I might look at decals too for the airplane. <clears throat> One thing I did too is I bought these Home Depot numbers. So I got the, these end numbers and the War of Experimental from Home Depot, but they, uh, they, they have a silver background to it. Sorry, I know I'm in the way. I'm not doing a very good job recording this. Forgive me. I'll just show you an example. So this was uh, 727 Gulf November. Here's the November part of it. And you can see, I mean, it looks nice. It's adhesive. It's reflective. Um, you know, it's the right size. It's the three inch. But it just has like a little silvery background to it. And I just don't want that on the background of the air. I don't want that on the airplane. The airplane is white, you know. So uh, what I'll probably do is just, I'll either get the Sporties version. You can, you know, type in your end number and Sporties will make it for you in the same size. You know, just do three inch tall and then whatever and, and print it. And then I think it's like 30 or 40 bucks. So I'll just do a few of those and um, don't really want to spend that much. This is a great cheap option. These are 86 cents each, but I, I don't like that silver background on the white airplane. Just thinking through things. What I'm going to do and painting. But if I could get some decals, maybe that might be worth um, looking at. I guess a cheap option is just to do the stripe. And so I might just do that too, but I go back and forth. And I want it to look good, but I want to know what I want to do on it too. I want it to be look to look nice and be something that I want. So I might just leave it white for now and then just paint it later. Like I, my, was my original plan. Put on the gap seals. Derma blend. Actually works great. like it it's soft it's like almost like skin material it really is the kind of tape that holds on IVs you know strong soft uh, pliable so I got on that side I like it gotta do the other side and then the other uh, right side of the tail and then put it on the uh, ailerons 
I think I got plenty. I got four rolls. It's really expensive. It's like seven, eight bucks a roll. But, uh, I mean, you know, relatively expensive as far as tape goes, but it's definitely the right product for the job. So follow uh, the video on YouTube. I can't remember who, who did the video. I can't remember who it was, but um, maybe Brad Rip. I'm not sure, but check it out. Stop my recording. Huh? Did you stop my? I'm good. Okay. Clear. Close. Oh my gosh, I gotta have to keep this fun. Clear.
Hey everybody, airplane's in the hangar. Oh, it is so hot out here. It's like 91 degrees and I'm on the verge of heat exhaustion. I'm not quite there, but here. Yeah, uh-huh. I could wring my shirt out right now. Jury struts are on. This is the hangar right here. This is the permanent hangar. This is Kevin Wendelberg's permanent hangar. Um, but uh, just just doing some work here. I've got the fiberglass piece in place. I've got, like I was showing you here, the GPS antennas in place. ELT antennas mounted in the back. I've got the screws going in for the aft fiberglass piece right here. And, uh, oh, it's not easy. I've got such... I don't have the biggest hands, but in these hard to reach places, it's tough. So I got to get in there and put the, uh, you can see some of this up here. If I can get a good view of it without falling back into the seat here. You can see where I screwed the, you know, one right here is in place for the uh, fiberglass piece. And then the, this other one right here is up there is the GPS receiver. And it is hard to reach. Yesterday, Justin and I were down here. We taxied out the grass strip that I'm going to be flying out of. And this is just the taxiway up to the grass strip, which actually runs this way. I think this is runway 33, and then runway 15 is flying in this direction. So I'll, I'll get some video on the taxi out here in a little bit.